is our water uh, water pressure switch pressure switch uh, system and we'll explain how these parts work um, as you can see you've got this plastic thing here now this goes on to the bottom of the uh, um, the bottom end of the machine it connects onto the um, uh, the sump hose which goes to the pump and also goes to the bottom of the tank now as the water level in the tank rises or falls so you get a variation of air pressure going up here you don't get water going up these pipes you get an air pressure going up the pipes um, now <coughs> this big first stop container is to avoid sudden fluctuations in water pressure which cause fluctuations in the air pressure as the water comes in here the air pressure rises in these pipes which go up the side of the tank on the outside of the tank this is connected somewhere in the chassis of the machine at the top the top of this machine is out at the moment quite obvious there's nothing there <laughs> right so you would normally have your big uh, the big tank here with your wash from inside this part here goes on to the bottom of the tank this air pressure um, unit fits in here I'll just put that in lower for now and this comes up onto the framework of the machine up here now as you get water filling the tank inside the machine like this, it creates air pressure in here and the air pressure is pushed up here you may get some water in here but not a lot and you get air pressure coming up those tubes here and these go there's a two pressure switches on this machine two separate air pressure switches and it causes these to operate so that's how it is laid out in the machine onto the top of the machine is this one here this one here is a buffer and that's there so as the machine is turning as the drum is turning and the paddles inside are moving the water the variations in water pressure won't cause sudden fluctuations in air pressure in these tubes because sudden fluctuations in here would cause these switches to fluctuate on and off quickly rapidly it, would, it, would, it just wouldn't work properly so they put this here and this absorbs the shock of sudden air pressure changes so here we are now back on the bench as we said before there's your parts the chamber to take up these sudden air pressure movements the shock so it doesn't make the switch fluctuate rapidly uh, these are just to stop these pipes from rattling on the machine or other parts and maybe getting cut um, worn out and this is our pressure switch itself now if you have a problem with the pressure switch if you find that is the fault don't try taking it apart because you, you won't you won't do anything you won't do any good with it um, you best just replace it don't try adjusting anything anything on the back here which looks like a screw it's not you will you will affect the um, pressure at which the switches operate and these are all interlinked with the control module computer inside the machine and you'll cause uh, you'll cause havoc so let's have a look inside this pressure switch just for interest and see how it works these devices are not meant to be opened so we're going to open it up anyway possibly damage the seals but it's in my business I'll come across a lot of these now here we have the insides so here we have the inside of our pressure switch here so this is where the air pressure comes in through this hose here the air pressure comes in through here to the back of this diaphragm here that fits on there and this also this this 
um, actually sits across here which goes on the right way around and that's a solid post there that one there, that doesn't do any. that just supports that pin there and these other two go in that cup and that cup ok now <coughs> when you get pressure inside here it causes this diaphragm to move out so let's see if we can take this diaphragm out of here and we'll have a look at the other side here it is so there we have it as simple as that so you get your air pressure come through this pipe here comes into the back of here this diaphragm is sitting there as you can see it's got very flexible rubber on the outside now this center piece here is hard plastic okay so you've got a hard plastic cover and a rubber matting on it a bit like an old record player but on the outside of this you've got this very flexible rubber outer edge that sits inside there so when you get your water for your air pressure inside here which is sealed in there this will cause the centerpiece to push out okay this will push out a bit and that pin there that point sits in the center of this three-legged switch a bit like the Isle of Man doesn't it and as the more pressure comes in and so pushes more on that centerpiece there so the switches will click at different levels so let's push it down slowly and see what happens there's the first switch there's the second switch now that's fully on those two switches are now fully closed or open depending what whether they're normally open or normally closed now we'll leave the pressure the green one comes off first then the white one releases so there we are that's how it works and this reed switch in here these reed switches as you push down on them the contacts to make a break fascinating huh? and that's how the pressure switch works we'll pop that back on and uh, now that we've opened it um, it's anybody's guess if it'll still work <laughs> but it doesn't matter because this is a like a stock demonstration piece anyway anyway we won't mess about with that now that's how that works and really that's about it because you can't work on these as I've said don't touch these screws here just replace the unit and all you have to do to remove this is get your special pliers on there or if you haven't got any special pliers just get your ordinary pliers on that squeeze them together lift that clip out of the way give that a twist and off it comes and there we are and you can take this part to your supplier and they'll take the numbers off there as you can see there are numbers all over this or you could put it on the website whichever spur parts you go to to get and uh, get your new part and that's about it for the pressure switch and your air chamber and the pipes thanks for watching i hope you found this interesting this is accordion cafe signing out for today bye for now